According to the Nielsen Total Audience Report, in quarter one of 2017, the average American adult spent about 11 hours and 18 minutes a day consuming media content. This got me thinking. If we didn't have such easy access to unlimited entertainment, what would we spend our time on? Oh, I burped. What would we spend our time on? Hobbies, laundry, building an indestructible empire? To answer this question, I persuaded three of my all too trusting coworkers to take the plunge and stop streaming for a week. There's not a day I'd go without watching Netflix. I watch it when I get ready. Immediately when I come home or when I'm cooking, like in the background for like white noise. Now that I'm talking about it, I realize that I may have a problem. I literally stream things every second I'm on my bed or on my couch. I'll drop by my house and watch. I'll stream something for lunch. Wait, you go home and stream things? Yeah. I definitely watch once a day, if not twice. Sometimes I let myself watch it while I put my makeup on in the mornings, but that's a treat. Murder documentaries. The OA, Love Game of Thrones, Love Broad City. Sex in the City, This Is Us. Girls on HBO, Insecure. Right now I'm addicted to Vampire Diaries again. Why? I don't know. So I really wanna deep clean my apartment, but I keep getting distracted. Reading is the biggest thing for me because I have like a bookshelf of books that I have read like five pages of each. Uh, so you said you really liked The Handmaid's Tale. Yes, so oh my God. I got you some <gasps> other books by Margaret Atwood. Oh, amazing! And then you also said you wanted to organize. I do. So I got you a drawer organizer. Oh, that's so cute! I've always wanted to learn how to cook. Everyone around me knows that I can't cook. Also, my boyfriend loves board games. If I had a choice between board games or streaming, I'd rather watch something. This might encourage us to play more board games. Uh, so I got you a Game of Thrones cookbook. Ah, this is so nice. And then I also got you a board game. This feels nicer than streaming. I'm getting presents. I think one of the things I would do is definitely work out more because I have a gym in my apartment and I like haven't even been in it to see it. Um, okay, so first I have a book because you said you loved the ocean and this yes. seemed like a really good book. Uh, you did say you wanted to exercise more, so I got you a kit to exercise at home. Although I do have a gym at my apartment, I am shy to go uh, work out in front of people, so um, cool. <gasps> no. <laughs> that was a great idea. Ah, I'm excited now. <laughs> Just informed my sister I'm doing this no streaming thing and she wanted to watch English TV while we eat and uh, she's not too pleased. Life outside of Netflix, real life is hard, okay? Not only do I have to fill this up halfway today with a foot pump, I have to wait 24 hours to continue to fill it up. I'm standing in front of my TV, I just got home and I'm gonna unplug my Chromecast which helps me stream things from my computer and phone. Unplugging the Chromecast. My boyfriend really wanted to watch TV, so uh, he is while I'm not facing it and facing the window, literally just sitting here. So Maya told me that she streamed an episode of The Vampire Diaries last night. That's against the rules, I'm afraid. No. How dare, how could you? <laughs> Before I started this, I, it was, um, I was watching like the last episode before the end of the entire series and I couldn't stop. You couldn't wait. Um, okay, so I do have to tell you a spoiler from Jane the Virgin. Okay. Are you in season three, episode 10 of Jane the Virgin? What? Wait, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but I'm done with Netflix. I've learned You're my not, lesson. You learned your that lesson? Was that was the most, like, ugh. And I also found out that Kane watched Game of Thrones. To be fair, it was the Game of Thrones season premiere, so maybe I was a little harsh in expecting him to not watch that. Well, 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 look what we have here. I did so well, and then- Did you do well? I, did I don't know. I experienced life on a new level, and then Game of Thrones came out, and I was just having so much FOMO. We're gonna give you a spoiler from How to Get Away with Murder. I have not seen this show, so this, this means nothing to me. There's a character named Wes on this show. Uh-huh. Uh, apparently No, that's your lie. That was it. That was very sad. 
So I just worked out like a crazy person at this insane boot camp thing. And usually I'd come home and just be like, chill and watch TV and I can't. So I'm doing a puzzle, like an 80 year old. <laughs> Look at her go. Filled it up and it came with um, this little thing. But uh, I think we're gonna use this in the pool. All right, we're about to work out with this thing. Let's, Let's go. go. It's a weekday and instead of streaming something, uh, we're gonna play Game of Thrones Monopoly. Right. Look at this, the TV is not on. And I am gonna read this book. Like a grown up who doesn't need TV to entertain them. Last night was the first time I actually decided to read for like the last 20 minutes of me being awake. And I had forgotten how calming reading actually is. It was like a really nice time. Cheers. Cheers. All I wanna do is lay in bed and watch Netflix. Hello darkness, my old friend. So I've had a super long day and I'm so exhausted and I just wanna lie down and watch TV. And I'm wondering if DVDs count. We actually went and got pillows for the apartment. We went to a live comedy show at UCB. It was nice to explore the city and not stay in our apartment. Today is the last day of not being able to stream and I'm so excited and I'm excited to watch Netflix whenever I want. Um, not streaming for a week was really great. I'm pretty happy to be done with not streaming, honestly. So I hate when I get told I can't do something because then I want to do it even more. I definitely felt like a better person for not streaming all the time because I do feel like a lazy asshole when I do that. <laughs> I played a lot of board games. Um, I cooked a lot. We finally furnished our apartment. <laughs> I was a lot more productive during the week. I tried to set up that exercise ball, but it was so difficult and I... <laughs> I tried to read, but it was so difficult to focus. I did read one of the short stories, and I started to read the second one, but haven't got any further. So instead, I ended up singing with my ukulele like every single night, and ended up like posting stuff on Instagram like I used to, and it was like great. It was great to do that again. It felt so good. I definitely would want to continue this, maybe like half the week, no streaming, you know? I definitely want to try and stream less now. I definitely feel like I can get more done, and I don't need it as much, but it would. It, I think it's just being allowed to have it is what I need. I would definitely do a streaming purge again just because I did so much creatively that I haven't done within this past year. And I think it's good to do everything in moderation and to take breaks. I cannot wait to get back to This Is Us because I was so in the middle of getting excited about that show and then I had to just cut it off. So uh, can I watch Netflix now? Um, I guess it's safe too. Sure. Cool, because I was about to watch it on my phone. <laughs> what is...